Greetings, this is Strat from Opa Dental. I am, uh, today I'm going to show you the technique for reducing and smoothing pre-centered zirconia after it's been uh, removed from the disc, in this case. So we have some nice wheels, the BRW1C, 1M, and 1F. So I'm going to start with the course. And I like to take a piece of old zirconia and kind of, you know, just get the, get the wheel ready, mainly when it's brand new, just to shape it up. Uh, since these are new, I'm just going to kind of show you that technique. So I'm going to do just two surfaces. I'm going to do the distal and the uh, buckle of this molar. I've even added some extra grooves in here to make it just a little rougher. Hopefully your mill doesn't uh, doesn't mill this rough, but I just wanted you to see how nice these uh, shaping brushes work. So I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the nice thing of it is they're pre-mounted, so you don't have to worry about trying to get them mounted centered because they are a, a brush. They're very easy to control. Uh, I can go right up to the margin and not worry about wiping the margin out. Uh, they're very fast, which is also important. Uh, and of course, the price is right, and the whole idea is to increase our margins and so we can make a few dollars as a lab technician or owner. And that's about it on the course. You can see it took all the gross grooves that's out of there. I could take a little more. Next, I'll use the medium. The medium is maroon in color. Um, initially, you may see a little bit of color going on the zirconia, where you can, again, just kind of dress it up, and that takes that initial color off of there. Uh, it does burn out in the center, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, so the medium's nice. Sometimes I just use the medium. I'll give you an example of that here in a minute. The very fast, easy to use. Last is the fine. Same thing, it's green in color. Again, when it's brand new, I'll remove that color off of there. And I'll smooth it up. Nice and smooth, ready if you're going to dip the restoration or paint on some stain, pre-staining liquids. Uh, if it's uh, just regular translucent material or super translucent. If it's pre-shaded, once again, you're ready to center. Now I'll show you one more example of what I generally do. A lot of times if the, the milling grooves or scratches from the milling tools aren't so deep, a lot of times I just go straight to the medium. I'll pick another surface. And this is just using the medium wheel. I would suggest you know, get all three. They're very inexpensive. And you'll figure out which ones you like in your techniques. And then just keep the ones you need. But they really do a great job. Really enjoy these. They're just, they're just fantastic. Make life easier as a lab technician. Appreciate you watching today. Thank you very much. Take care.